Well, the Ghana Real Estate Developers Association says Ghana's housing deficit has worsened over the years. According to Greta, a national housing census conducted pointed out that the housing deficit, which stood at 1.7 million housing units in 2010, has increased to over 2 million housing units as of last year. Speaking with Joy Businesses, Emma Davis, Samuel Amegaibo called on government to reduce taxes on housing development to enable the average Ghanaian own or rent a house. Uh, unfortunately, the deficit is worsening by the day. I remember in 2010 when UN Habitat and then at that same time we had a national housing census conducted. So the two data combined together, they were able to determine that our housing deficit was 1.7 million at that time. And if you look at how much we needed over a 10-year period, vis-a-vis uh, -vis what we are able to supply on the market, we realized that there was a, a big shortfall. And so adding on from that time, that is why we were able to say that as of last year or so, we then said that the deficit has gone up from the 1.7 million to over 2 million. And so we haven't done very well to overcome it, but uh, we as private estate developers like Greta, we are working in a very harsh environment. And so we are doing our best, but when it comes to affordable housing, there has to be um, commitment from government to make it possible. Based on our income level, how would you describe the flexibility? What is the flexibility level in acquiring you know, a house? Well, uh, you've touched a very important aspect of why we are having a challenge because the general earnings of Ghanaians is very low. And so if you look at the various mortgage products that we have on the market, it only favors those who are in the upper bracket. And so if you had listened to the conversation we had on Joy FM, for example, we realized that Republic Bank was saying that the government uh, housing mortgage that has been launched, for example, uh, which is going for 11.9% with them, vis-a-vis uh, -vis what the general market is at 24%, it is targeted at the private sector. Well, let's still stay on the housing sector, especially as we get up for the Joy News' Habitat Fair, because a house cannot be complete without affordable and durable access to portable water. Innovations have seen the construction sector come up with good ways of connecting water to the house. Well, ahead of the Joy News Habitat Fair, uh, which is just a few days away, we feature one such company, Duraplast, on the packages to look out for during the two-day mini-clinic slated for Saturday and Sunday this weekend. Head of Sales at Duraplast, Emmanuel Fori Entry, joins us via Zoom. Welcome to the program, Emmanuel. First of all, refresh your minds on what Duraplast does, because we understand that you've added on to your product port portfolio. Good afternoon. Welcome to the program, Emmanuel. Thank you. So, Good. yeah, so as I asked early on, um, if you could hear me, um, would want to find out from you, uh, to what end have you added on to your product portfolio? Okay, we have uh, the, the top brand now, which is the water tank. And uh, we have the septic tank, which is a solution to sewage problems. We have uh, PVC and UPV, UPVC pipes and fittings for plumbing. We have the UPVC pipe casing for borehole drilling. We have the conduit pipes for electrical wiring. We also have the water sun. You know when the, there is a construction going on, um, you have to barricade some areas you think are not safety. Yeah. So we have uh, water filled and sun filled barricades, <coughs> and safety barriers for barricading a, a construction site. Mm, interesting. Uh, we also, yeah. Interesting. Well, you must be, I believe, marking time for the much anticipated Habitat Fair. Tell us what range of products to expect at the mini clinic with a hindsight on COVID-19. Good. Uh, one, one major product is the CD wash station. This is a, um, a, a hand washing station which comes with inlet and outlet, just like we have for our tanks. Hmm. Um, you don't need to uh, manually fetch water unless, of course, you want. But then there's a connector or inlet at the top to fill the... Uh, um, the tank itself. Then also at the base, the bottom, there is an outlet where you can connect to a drainage or a gutter. Meaning, um, we don't want you to 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 
get in contact with the um, the the wastewater or the dirty water which you wash your hand with again. Okay. So the water will flow through the outlet to um, any drainage or gutter around you. That's quite impressive. And it comes in two sizes. Yeah, yeah. That's quite impressive. Sizes, the sixty liter, yeah, the sixty liter and the forty liter. Great. Well, any special discounts for patrons because you know when our people come over, all they're looking out for is discounts, quality products. What are going to be the discounts? Yes. Yes, exactly. We have we have such such promotion for uh, uh, visitors to the Habitat Fair, which is coming on on Saturday and Sunday at the Westo Mall. We we are planning some package for them, but then um, I'm not disclose it right now. But it's a package for them. It's going to be a discount and some um, giveaways on that uh, on those two days. Great. That's nice. We just can't, you know, wait to see what happens on Saturday and Sunday. The many clinics of the Joy News Habitat Fair. It's all about housing. You may not want to miss out on that.